Imagine an AI that doesn't just respond to prompts, but remembers your entire conversation history from weeks ago, writes scripts, builds apps, understands images, and even edits videos, all in one go. That's the kind of leap GPT-5 promises, and it might launch any day now. But what exactly is GPT-5? Why is the hype so intense this time? And what will it mean for creators, coders, students, and everyday users? Let's break it all down, because this isn't just another upgrade. It's a revolution in the making. GPT-5 isn't just another update. It's the most anticipated AI release since ChatGPT itself. And here's why. Since the release of GPT-4 in early 2023, the world of AI has been evolving rapidly. We've seen models go multimodal, handle longer conversations, generate videos, and even act like autonomous agents. But despite all these advancements, one name has been echoing across the tech world for months now, GPT-5. OpenAI has been tight-lipped about the exact release date, but all signs point to a July 2025 launch, potentially within just a few days. The rumors are more than just speculation. Multiple leaks, API documentation changes, and insider reports all suggest that GPT-5 is not only ready, it's already being tested behind closed doors. So what's the big deal? Let's rewind a bit. GPT-4 introduced major improvements in reasoning, multimodal support, images and text, and response quality. But it still had its limits, memory constraints, hallucinations, lack of persistent understanding across long conversations, and limited real-world context. GPT-5 is expected to shatter those limitations. First, we're talking about a massive increase in context window, possibly up to 1 million tokens. That means it could remember and process entire books, code bases, multi-hour transcripts, or weeks of chat history. For comparison, GPT-4 Turbo handled around 128k tokens, already huge, but GPT-5 would take it to an entirely different level. Second, GPT-5 is rumored to bring true long-term memory to everyday users. Think of it like this. Your AI remembers your preferences, your goals, your writing style, your favorite tone, and uses that data intelligently across sessions. This could make GPT-5 not just a tool, but a personal assistant who actually knows you. Third, there's a huge leap expected in reasoning and planning capabilities. Many believe GPT-5 will be trained to act more like an agent, capable of making decisions, calling APIs, using tools, browsing in real time, and automating multi-step tasks with much more independence. It's also likely to feature enhanced multimodality with seamless integration of text, image, audio, and video understanding. This means GPT-5 won't just describe an image, it might analyze, caption, or even create visual content in response to prompts. And when connected with tools like Sora or DALI, the possibilities multiply. Let's not forget, OpenAI has been testing an entire ecosystem around GPT-5, with the ChatGPT App Store, custom GPTs, and integration into productivity tools, GPT-5 could become the core of a full AI-powered workspace. Think Google Workspace, but run entirely by AI. You speak, it writes, you outline, it designs, you dream, it builds. Finally, there's the human side. GPT-5 might be the first model to pass the Turing test level benchmarks in real world conditions, not just academic benchmarks. That means it could fool even the sharpest users into thinking they're chatting with a real human consistently. But it's not all excitement. There are concerns. Bias, misinformation, autonomy, and safety are going to be even bigger topics now. If GPT-5 is as powerful as expected, the responsibility on developers and users will grow too. So. The stakes are high, and the next chapters in AI evolution are about to be written, one prompt at a time. So what exactly will GPT-5 do differently? Let's break down the core upgrades expected, and more importantly, what they'll mean in real-world use. Massive context window, possibly one million tokens. Imagine this. You paste your entire novel draft, 700 pages, into GPT-5 and it understands the entire storyline, characters, arcs, and even references from chapter two while editing chapter 47. That's what a 1 million token context window could unlock. For developers, this means entire app code bases can be debugged, refactored, or documented in one shot. For educators, long lesson plans, full course transcripts, and historical documents can be processed without chunking. In short, the AI becomes truly holistic, not just reactive. Real-time memory that evolves with you. 
GPT-5 is expected to bring persistent, evolving memory to the forefront. Think of it like an AI journal, one that remembers your goals, past questions, work habits, preferences, tone, and even your slang. If you're a creator, that means GPT-5 can help write your next video script in the same style as your last five. If you're a student, it might track your study history and suggest what to revise next. And if you're a business owner, it could act like an assistant that already knows how your emails sound, how your team communicates, and what's important to your brand. Autonomous agents and tool use. This is where things get next level. GPT-5 is rumored to work as a true autonomous agent, capable of taking action, not just answering. That includes booking appointments, managing files, performing web research, Zapier APIs, spreadsheets, oding and deploying apps without supervision. It's not about asking and getting a response. It's about delegating a task and GPT-5 getting it done. Even if that means using external tools and breaking the task into steps itself. Deeper multimodality. We already saw glimpses of this with GPT-4.0, but GPT-5 is likely to offer native level fluency across text, image, audio, and video. That could look like last listening to your voice and replying with emotion, watching a video and summarizing it frame by frame, at a rarely an image based on spoken instructions, reading your handwritten notes and turning them into slides. It's the closest we've ever come to an AI that feels truly sensory aware. Improved accuracy and reasoning. Hallucinations have always been the weak spot, but GPT-5 is trained with more structured data, better feedback loops, and likely advanced fine-tuning through RLHF, reinforcement learning from human feedback. That means fewer made-up facts, sharper logic, more consistent outputs, better understanding of nuance, tone, and emotion. Whether you're building a startup, learning a new topic, or just chatting, this version will feel more stable, more reliable, more useful. Deep integration across ecosystem with the ChatGPT App Store and GPT-powered features rolling out across Microsoft Office, iOS, Android, and third-party apps. GPT-5 won't just live inside ChatGPT. It will become a layer embedded into your daily digital life. Auto-filling forms, drafting messages, translating content, creating videos, scheduling meetings, and even generating thumbnails. So what's the takeaway? GPT-5 isn't just a smarter chatbot. It's an AI operating system for your life. From automating workflows to crafting content, from learning faster to building businesses, GPT-5 might be the tool that reshapes how we think, work, and create. And when it launches, whether it's tomorrow or next week, the internet won't just react, it'll adapt. While GPT-5 promises groundbreaking features, it also carries serious concerns that we can't ignore. One of the biggest issues is misinformation. The better AI becomes at writing fluently and confidently, the harder it is to tell truth from fiction. If GPT-5 can generate long, coherent, and emotionally compelling articles, what happens when it's used to spread fake news, conspiracy theories, or propaganda? The potential for misuse increases as the outputs become more believable. Another rising concern is job displacement. As GPT-5 begins to handle more complex tasks, writing, coding, designing, organizing, many roles, especially entry-level or routine jobs, could be automated away. Sure, new jobs will appear, like AI trainers or prompt engineers, but the shift won't be smooth for everyone. A lot of people might find themselves replaced before they're retrained. Bias and ethical issues are also under the spotlight. Even previous models like GPT-4 had moments where they revealed cultural or gender biases. Now with GPT-5 expected to operate across more platforms and decision-making processes, the risks are amplified. Will it treat all cultures and viewpoints fairly? Can it be manipulated to generate harmful content? These are real concerns as the model becomes more autonomous and integrated into tools used by millions. Security is another challenge with GPT-5 potentially having real-time tool use, API access, and decision-making powers, the threat of misuse, hacks, or unintended consequences becomes very real. What happens if it's connected to sensitive systems like finances or healthcare and something goes wrong? And with AI moving faster than laws can catch up, we may find ourselves unprepared for the fallout. Finally, there's the human side, our dependency on AI. As GPT-5 becomes more capable, we might start outsourcing not just tasks, but thinking itself. We risk becoming passive consumers of AI output instead of remaining curious, creative, and critical thinkers. If we're not careful, 
we may start relying on it so much that we lose some of the very skills that make us human. In the end, the question isn't just how powerful GPT-5 will be, it's how ready we are to use it wisely. So here we are, standing on the edge of what might be the most important moment in AI history. GPT-5 isn't just a new tool, it's a turning point. It could change how we work, how we create, how we learn, and even how we define intelligence itself.